Hello, I'm Satvik, and in this presentation, let's talk all about Porsche. Porsche AG was established in 1931 by Ferdinand Porsche and is based out of Stuttgart, Germany. It was initially known just for sports cars, but now it also makes SUVs, sedans, station wagons, and electric cars. The Volkswagen Group acquired 49.9% stake in December 2009, and in 2012 took over the firm completely. Their current lineup includes the 911, the 718 Boxster and Cayman Twins, the Cayenne, the Macan, the Panamera, and the newly introduced Taycan. The 911 range is the oldest car Porsche offers, with one of the first being sold in 1963. It is also the most revered sports car of the 20th century. Ask anybody about a sports car, and the first thought is always Porsche, if not the 911. Now let's talk about how Porsche AG came into existence. It was the brainchild of Ferdinand Porsche, an engineering genius. He was born on September the third, eighteen seventy-five, in Mafelsdorf, Czech Republic, to a tinsmith couple. In nineteen thirty-one, Mr. Porsche founded the company where it only offered its services for motor vehicle development and consulting. One of the first assignments they received was for a cheap car for the masses. I'll let you get what it was. So. Adolf Hitler had hired Ferdinand Porsche to build the people's car for Germany. Mr. Porsche used a rear engine layout for this and created a car that will define Volkswagen and Porsche for the rest of time. You guessed it right. It was the Volkswagen Beetle which came on to become one of the most iconic cars in the short history of automobiles. It also provided the platform for the first ever Porsche car, the 356. His son Ferry got down to work on a Beetle and created the first car to ever wear the family name. Its engine was loosely based on the Beetle's flat four engine, and had a host of parts being changed, which resulted in twice the horsepower than the Beetle. Many argue that the 356 is not the first car to adorn the Porsche badge. It is, however, the Type 64, which people say is the first car by Porsche. But the Type 64 was a race car, and only three of them were ever built. Fun fact, though, many may not know this: back when Porsche was building the 356, they were also manufacturing tractors. Regulation at the time did not allow non-tractor manufacturers to build them, so Porsche licensed it to Mannesmann in Germany, with engine designed by Ferdinand Porsche. The most common Porsche tractors are the Junior and the Super Series. That's right, Porsche made tractors. The car that came after the 356 took the world by storm. It was none other than the Porsche 911. Introduced in 1963, the 911 featured a similar layout to the 356, but was better in many ways. It had a four seats, had better looking design, an amazing ride and handling. This car was so iconic that it is still in production today. In 2017, the millionth 911 rolled off the assembly line, and is now housed in the Volkswagen Group Forum in Berlin. According to Porsche, 70% of those 911s are still on the road. That's no small feat. Now, in its eighth generation, the 911 has always been at the pinnacle of tradition and innovation. Porsche also targeted the big leagues, the hypercar segment. It has always brought along a worthy competitor in the fierce battle with Ferrari and McLaren. It started with the 959, which was introduced in 1987 and competed with the Ferrari F40. The Carrera GT continued the tradition by battling with McLaren and Sala. And the Ferrari Enzo. For the latest iteration of the Holy Trinity of hypercars, Porsche gave the world the 918 Spider. Well, we can't talk about Porsche and not mention motorsports. It has always been actively involved in a variety of them, and most popular being the FIA World Endurance Championships. Porsche has had major success at the 24 Hours of Le Mans with 19 titles with them. It was also briefly involved in. Formula One with the McLaren team and helped them win many titles as well, and now they're all set to debut in Formula E in December 2019. Although Porsche is best known for its flat six engine layout, it has had other noticeable engine layouts as well. Well, the history of Porsche started with the Beetle flat four, and evolved into the iconic flat six. However, their engine technology doesn't end there. They've had experience with inline fours, inline six, V sixes, V eights, and V tens. They've also developed hybrid technology for the 918 hypercar, as well as EV technology introduced with the Taycan. Porsche has only developed one V12 engine ever, and that was for the McLaren in the 90s. 
They've also produced flat, a flat 6 layout aircraft engine from 1984 to 1990. It was used in aircrafts like the Mooney M20L, the Cessna 172. Porsche is now a wholly owned subsidiary of the Volkswagen Group. Porsche is a unique marquee in the Volkswagen lineup as well. Since Porsche's name is synonymous with sports cars, it slots in as the sporty division of Volkswagen. Audi and Porsche have jointly developed various products together which have also trickled down to other brands owned by Volkswagen. For example, the Bentley Continental GT uses the Panamera's platform. On the corporate side of things, Wolfgang Porsche acts as the chairman with Oliver Bloom at the helm of the company since 2015. The chief designer is Michael Mauer, who has been responsible for the Cayenne, the Macan, the Panamera, the 991-911 and the 918 Spider. Now, Porsche has a vast portfolio of cars. For each of his cars, it has different brands acting as its competitors. Its competitors includes the likes of Mercedes, BMW, Ferrari, Lamborghini, Aston Martin, McLaren, Audi, Maserati, Jaguar, and now Tesla. Unlike some of its competition, Porsche has a small range of vehicles falling in different segments. Out of all of those, just let's just consider the 911 itself. It is offered in various trims, right from a luxury GT to a convertible to an all-out race car for the road. The different trims have different competitors. For an alternative to the base Carrera, one can consider the F-Types or the V8 Vantages. For the likes of the GT3 or the GT3 RS, you'll have cars like the AMG GTR, the Ferrari 488 Pista or the 600 LT from McLaren. Being produced for over 50 years now, 911 lends itself a USP of having one to suit every need. The introduction of the Cayenne was an important turning point in the history of the company. Porsche was going ba almost bankrupt and this helped Porsche sustain itself in the market and not lose its core product, the 911. The Cayenne received huge praise for when it was launched and pioneered the sporty SUV segment that is selling like hotcakes right now. Recently, Porsche along with Boeing announced their plans to create an urban air mobility solution. This comes after Airbus announced their plans to create and operate a fleet of flying taxis. The flying cars from Porsche and Boeing will be catering the rich because of Porsche's brand value. Venturing into the urban air mobility is a big challenge. There are many unknown variables that need to be figured out, but given the capabilities of both Boeing and Porsche, they should be able to come out with an alternative sooner rather than later. Porsche also got themselves caught up in Dieselgate along with Volkswagen and will find almost around £459 million. However, it never produced or developed its own engines, it still agreed to pay the fines to end the scandal. Post that, Porsche dropped the diesel drivetrain from its model range altogether and now will focus on, the f on a fully electric range starting with the Taken. People don't buy Porsche just because of the brand name, they buy it for the performance and the reliability that comes with owning a Porsche. For most, the 911 is the safest bet at buying a sports car that lets them have fun at the track on the weekends and can also be comfortable enough to commute on the weekdays. The 911 has carved itself and Porsche a niche in the automobile market. The Cayenne is a huge hit as it has the practicality of an SUV and some of the Porsche's driving dynamics. The Macan and Panamera also provide a similar experience in their categories. With the launch of the Taken, Porsche plans to expand its foray into the EV segment of the market. Porsche's intent with the Taken is to prove that electric cars can also be fun to drive while staying green. Thank you.